Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the part two LRs for the sixth anniversary have officially been revealed and obviously I'm super, super late to the party on this one. But uh, as you guys know, yesterday was Valentine's Day and these units dropped literally at like 8 or 9 p.m. and I was having dinner with uh, Android 18, my girlfriend. So I was like, man, I really should make a video about this. I really should post my reactions. But at the same time, I couldn't just like get up and leave in the middle of our Valentine's Day dinner, right? So I prioritized my relationship over Dokkan. I know, bad call, but it is what it is. Hope you guys understand. And uh, now we're here. Let's check out the two new LRs coming up. Uh, very soon actually, in like 10 hours from the time I drop this video, the banner will be live on uh, JP. As always, I'll try my best to uh, set up a stream and go live for some summons at the same time, but I'm not really sure how my schedule will work out. So if I am live, then try to tune in. If not, then uh, you'll probably see a video very soon after that. All right. So yeah, two LRs. The first one is this Android 17 slash uh, Team Universe 7. Specifically, it's called All Out War of Universe 7 Android 17 bracket Team Universe 7. And the other one also includes Android 17. I don't really know why they're doing these like double releases featuring the same character, just like the uh, Gohan cards from part one, but it's fine. I don't mind it. I love Android 17. It's just a little bit weird, you know? So this one is the remaining final possibility, Golden Frieza, Angel, and Android 17. So there you go. Now, before we check out their details, Let's watch the animations because they are freaking amazing. So popping over to the uh, official Dokkan on Twitter page here. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit and here we go. が足止めに随分と全力を出されたようですね。もし俺が失敗しても、お前がいれば後は大丈夫だと思ったからな。うん。信頼していただけて光栄ですよ。Oh my god. <laughs> So that was the first time um, I saw these in full, right? Because yesterday I saw the previews come out, but like I said, I was busy, right? So I only saw like part of it. Um, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks awesome. Um, now, if I remember correctly, as good as this one is, I think the Universe 7 team animations are even better. Okay, so let's move on to that one now. But dude, that is... Damn, top five. Easily top five animations in the game already. All right, so here we go. We got Team Universe 7 once again featuring Android 17. Let's go. I don't even need to know. I mean, I already do know because I looked in advance, but I don't even need to know what these units do. 
to know that I must have them, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, you know, there were a lot of people that suggested that maybe we would get like a Team Universe 7 card with like 5 or even, even more units, right? And I was like, man, there's no way. There's no way they're gonna do a 5 unit card, right? Like, that's too many. Like, the trio is like the max, and clearly I was wrong. Um, because they did it, man. I mean, technically, it's Android 17 as like the main guy, the featured guy, but it still has like all the other guys too, so um that's awesome that's awesome Yo, that's a great discount too man five units in one right it's like a bundle deal <laughs> i love these animations i don't want to stop watching them i don't <sighs> okay okay we gotta stop we gotta move on we gotta move on so um those are the animations i mean i don't know about you guys but just wow all right um so talking about the details for the uh, Android 17 slash Team Universe 7, leader skill is representatives of Universe 7 category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or super types or super int types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. 12 key super attack, Excel Driver, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage and raises allies' defense by 30% for one turn. So not just raising his own defense, but the entire rotation's defense as well. And then 18 key, Assault Barrier, greatly, or sorry, causes mega colossal damage to enemy, raises allies defense by 30%, and chance of performing a critical hit by 7% for one turn. Passive is human-like, attack and defense plus 70%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when there are five or more representatives of Universe 7 category allies on the team, plus an additional attack plus 70% when key is 22 or more, and then key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. So you can get up to 10 additional key since the most rainbow key spheres you can get in one turn is 5, right? And then chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained, so basically up to 35% more critical hit chance with 5 rainbow key spheres obtained. Active skill, all-out attack of Universe 7. Not gonna lie, the first thing I thought of was the, you know, all-out attacks in a Persona, right? Uh, anyways, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to enemy, and all allies key plus 7 for one turn. Can be activated when there are 5 or more representatives of Universe 7 category allies on the team, and another 2 representatives of Universe 7 category allies attacking in the same turn, when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less once only. So obviously, it's an amazing active skill, but quite restrictive. I mean, it's not the worst restriction we've seen, that's for sure, for a transformation or active skill. That title still goes to the uh, AGL LR Gohan, but this is definitely not a great restriction, but I understand, okay? Obviously, this unit is meant to be run on a reps of Universe 7 slash Universe Survival Saga team with mostly Universe 7 units. And uh, under those conditions, man, oh, you know what? Let's uh, talk about the links and categories first. Links are Android Assault, Infinite Energy, Solid Support, Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Representatives of Universe 7, and Joined Forces. So yeah, like I said, uh, this unit is definitely meant to be run on a Universe 7 team. Um, in other conditions, like on a, you know, Super Int team, maybe, or Joint Forces team, without being able to meet these conditions, uh, it's not going to be as impressive. It's still going to be a fine unit, but on a all reps of Universe 7 team, it's absolutely busted, man. I mean, some quick maths for you right here. Their additional attack plus 70% is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 189% when key is 22 or more and attack plus 308% if there are five or more representatives of Universe 7 category allies on the team. I mean, that's just crazy, man. Like, they're gonna be busting out so much damage defensively. They're gonna be good as well, especially because they raise defense for the entire rotation as well. So it's gonna make your other units more tanky too. And uh, yeah crazy unit man now of course they don't have a revival skill which is a very 
broken mechanic um i think that would have been too much obviously to include so i don't mind that uh do i think that this unit is better than the ui goku and the ssb vegeta it's hard to say i would say just based on initial impressions probably not but i mean it's still a crazy unit nonetheless, right? So that's uh, Team Universe 7 for you. Now let's move on to the Golden Frieza and uh, 17. Leader skill is Universe Survival Saga or Join Forces. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. 12 key super, limit breaking assault, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key is final special attack, raises attack for one turn causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 70%, great chance of launching up to two additional attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% up to 70%, and key plus one up to seven with each attack performed. Reduces damage received and raises chance of performing a critical hit by 7% with each attack performed within the same turn. So let's say you do your super and then you get two additional attacks in the passive and then you get uh, one more additional from the hidden potential system, that's four attacks, right? So in that case, you would be getting 28% damage reduction and 28% uh, more critical hit chance in that turn. An active skill is survival strategy of universe seven, key plus seven, defense plus 77% and performs a critical hit for one turn, can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during battle once only. And links are tough as nails, Brainiacs, solid support, shocking speed, tournament of power, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are universe of Saga, representatives of universe seven, joint forces, and a battle of wits. So uh, that is the Golden Frieza and Android 17. I feel like not as exciting of a unit, but still very, very, very good, especially defensively, man. I mean, some more quick maths for you. Uh, their additional attack and defense plus 7% with each additional attack performed is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 189% after 10 attacks. And since they get so many additional attacks, it shouldn't take you more than like four, Fewer four appearances before you max that out. And then their active skill is calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of defense plus 411.53% you know, when you use the active skill. And you have to factor in the additional up to 28% uh, damage reduction too from their passive here, right? So uh, yeah, amazing unit too. Once again, I don't think it's better than the MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta but easily top 10 unit in the game right now maybe even top five we'll have to see but uh yeah guys that is everything you gotta know about this lr golden frieza angel golden frieza and 17 and also team universe 7. uh if you guys missed my prediction video from a couple days ago i was um pretty off base about this one i mean i did say that there was a chance android 17 would be one of the cards but I said it was unlikely because for the past couple of years, they've been giving us these like standalone villains or antagonist units for like one of the part two LRs. So I thought it was going to be Hit or maybe like uh, God of Destruction Topo or something like that. Clearly, I was wrong. It is what it is. I own up to it and uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how things turned out. So I'm not going to complain. And uh, there you go, guys. That is today's video. Look out for both these units dropping on JP uh, in ooh, less than 10 hours now. Nine hours and 50 minutes by the time I drop this video. Probably like nine and a half hours or something like that. Once again, man, if I can go live at that time, I will. If I can't, I'll definitely bring you guys a video. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for Team Universe 7 and Andrew Gold and Frieza and 17. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want more. I think most people will say this uh, Team Universe 7 unit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media.
signing out.